I am already settled. I am perfected. I am established for the glory of God. I am experiencing the goodness of God. Ku experience kwa Kiswahili ni nini? Kushuhudia. Hallelujah. E, ni hivyo? Okay. Amen. Ombi tunaangalia kadi sio hivyo. Amen. Si mmoja amesema kwa kando yako. <laughs> Hallelujah. Utaona ma, makubwa mema ya Mungu. Ambao mwenza kwa mema. Mema ya Mungu. Si ni kweli? Amen. We give God the glory. I'm so excited this year. We are doing great things by the grace of God. Now, I just want us to go direct to the verse, to the sermon of today. Amen. But before that, I want to celebrate everybody that has been a pillar in this church, being a son, being a member, being whatever you are, and you became a blessing to us. Can we celebrate yourself? Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Na najua sasa saa hii tutakuwa zaidi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kama ulikuwa unakani kama umekanyaga mgu moja ndani nyingine nje na madhali ingiza zote ndani. Haleluya. Maana hata unaona tunaenda mahali. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ah, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kama ulikuwa umekanyaga uko 50-50 sasa ongeza hiyo 50 nyingine. Bwana Yesu habibu mwanza kaongeza 50. Maana sasa tuko serious. Ah, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Si mtu anajaribu ngo anaona kama hii kitu iko serious. Amen. Si iko serious. Nauliza si iko serious. Unajua msipoongea mnamaanisha iko serious. Nauliza si iko serious. Si tunaenda mahali. Sasa kwa nini uongoje tena? Si tuingie na miguu zote mbili. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Supigie bwana makofi mazuri. Those who are online, God bless you so much. Welcome all to the service of today. Mungu atende. Let's celebrate those who are online. Can we celebrate them? Celebrate them. This is nice. Now, today I'll be starting a series that I'm believing that I'll be teaching the whole of this month, maybe from to the next month. Hallelujah. Nanza series ambayo nitafunza huu mwezi mzima kulingana vile nitaongozwa. Niko na series mbili ya mwezi huu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ambayo moja inaitwa Turned into a new man. Ambayo inaweza kuwa Turned into another man. No, you're not talking tell about Turned into another man. Kwa Kiswahili kubadilishwa kuwa mtu mwingine. Mbe mwanza kwa utabadilishwa. Utakuwa mtu mwingine. Kuna mwenye elewe kingereza kwa pandani ndiyo ni, ni amwe ni enda kingereza ma Kiswahili. Wanezo sifiwe. Asante. Ama wengine wamenye maza juwa mwona hivu. Aleluya. Unasema tu mimi sishikanizi. Na tunaelewa mwaka huu tunabiana ukweli. Aleluya. Wanezo sifiwe. Mbe mwanza kwa and to another man. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And I want us to read the book of 1 Samuel chapter 10, 1 to 7. I wish I will get a reader. I will really enjoy if I get a reader up to a microphone to we read. Nirefu. Hallelujah. 1 Samuel chapter 10, 1 to 7. Umu waka tokona soma maandiko kubwa kubwa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yes. Aha. First Samuel chapter 10 1 to 7 In the next few minutes Mwaka huu niliwambia mimi ndiyo timekeeper Hodari, hallelujah So, ndiyo mweza kusiwa na wasiwasi Pasini ule mjanjezi, hallelujah Nashikanisha, nashikanisha, amen So, usiwa na worry Don't worry yeah? Are you there? Yes Read it. Then Samuel took a flask of oil yes. and poured it on his head and kissed him and said, mm. As not the Lord anointed you to be prince over his people Israel, mm. and you shall reign over the people of the Lord, and you will save them from the hand of their surrounding enemies. Mm. And this shall be the sign to you that the Lord has anointed you to be the prince over his heritage. Mm. Verse 2. When you depart from me today, you'll meet two men by Rachel's tomb mm -hmm. in the territory of Benjamin mm -hmm. at Zelza. Mm -hmm. And they will say to you, the donkeys that you went to seek yes. are found. Yes. And now your father has ceased to care about the donkeys yes. and is anxious about you, saying, what shall I do about my son? 
Then you shall go on from there, Father. Then you shall go on from there, Father, and come to the ark of the Tabor. Three men going up the to God at Bethel will meet you there. One carrying three young goats, another carrying three loaves of bread, another carrying a skin of wine. Verse four. And they will greet you and give you two loaves of bread, which you shall accept from their hand. Amen. After that, you shall come to give birth, Elohim, where there is a garrison of Philistines. Mm -hmm. And there, as soon as you come to the city, yes. you will meet a group of prophets coming down from the high place. And there you shall meet what? A group, group of, of prophets yes. coming down from the high place with a harp. Uh -huh. Turn around, tumbling, yeah. Fl flute and yeah. Yeah. and they have before them, and they will be prophesying. Uh -huh. Continue there. Yes. Six. Then the spirit of the Lord will rush upon you, uh -huh. and you will prophesy with them and be turned into another man. Uh -huh. Now, when these signs meet you. Do what your hand finds to do, for God is with you. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you for your word, and we bless your name. As we hear you, Lord, speak to us. It's the name we pray, believe and trusting. Say amen. Uh, uh, say amen. amen. Now, and the Bible says, I want just to get that point very well. I wanted you to get the story so that you can understand in verse 6 it says then the spirit of the lord will come upon you and you will prophesy with them and be turned into another man remember it's called turn to be turned to another man so our, our, our uh, someone today is turned to another man the bible says that he was given instruction and he was told that he will meet some prophets. He will meet some three men. Ambao watako mebeba mbuzi na wengine kono ingine na mkina mebeba mikate. Mwanezo wa sifiwe. Lakini hapa china ambio komba you will meet prophets coming from the high place. And when you meet them you shall prophesy with them. Now he again says The spirit of the Lord will be upon you And you'll be turned Into a new man Tell you about being turned Into a new man Listen to me God is in a business of turning men Into another man uh, uh, You're not getting me I say mungu wako katika biyashara Ya kubalisha watu kuwa watu wengine Kanisa mwana wasefiwe. Mwaka huu siyo mwaka wakua hule mwenye ulikua. Ni mwaka wakua mtu mwingine. Ambe mwenza kwa mtu mwingine. Mwana yesu wasefiwe. Now I want you to understand something here. Saul was anointed as a king. Wakati alikuwa meenda kutafuta punda ya baba yake. Na hapa sasa anambio kwamba. There are men that we shall meet. There are things they will give to you. Take what they will give it to you. That as, as you go on, you shall meet another man. When you meet this man, there is something that will happen to you. You shall prophesy with him. And the next thing, you shall be turned. God cannot entrust a man and he changes a man. Ah, God cannot entrust you with his riches until he changes you to somebody else. Because you know there is a way you are. He must change the way you are. Because this was a man from, uh, from a, a very uh, small tribe of Israel. This was the son of Kish. And these people walikuwa mejitharao sana. Manaki walikuwa ni jamii ndoko. Number two, huyu jamaa walikuwa mena kutafuta punda. Alikuwa mtafuti wa punda. Katiza mwana sifiwe. And this man was becoming a king. The oil is upon his head. And listen to me. God, mungu wakajua kwa mba ujama akienda na hii akili ya kutafutanga punda. Lazima tubalishe ujama. Katiza mwana sifiwe. 
Can someone ask if you? You know, God has a lot of things, and whatever He wants to do with a man, the first thing He must turn a man into another man, because until you change from what you are, God has no business with you. Uh, can you someone ask if you? And the Bible says in the book of Luke, I believe in the book of Luke, chapter twenty-four, verse forty-nine, and the Bible says that tarry in Jerusalem and you are clothed you are endued with the power you don't understand this because God has no business to entrust you with things until something has happened in your life Mungu wana biya sana 2023 kama bado utakuwa mtu wa 2022 because 2022 you are a failure in 2023 you cannot walk in that failure ah, in 2022 uliko unafanya guest work in 2023 you cannot do guest work he must turn new into a new uh, can you someone ask if you can you someone ask if you you know the the, 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 the the level that you want to go huh? you must allow God to release his spirit upon your life and to attack to something else I don't know who I'm talking to but there is something that I came in then I'm talking about a personal life in me and I said I am tired of my old self everybody must be tired of their old self without reasoning you must say this time round I must use my brain but before I go there something must enter me that will prove that I'm not the same man watu waliangalia waliangalia Saul na wakasema guy huyu si ni yule mtoto wa kish if you read there you read it utaona jamani so many of the old of it as soon you hata yeye kwani amekuwa prophet kanisa bwana asifiwe kanisa bwana asifiwe listen to me the reason you are where you are is because you have refused the holy ghost to enter in you ah because once the holy ghost enters into, into a man a man becomes a new man you are not the same person they thought you are you've been turned into a new man you have been turned into a new man what work when you are always kukubali kama bado uko vile ulivyo your name is not changing but you you are changing. Hey, in the way you are walking, still will remain the same. But when you speak to them, they realize this man has changed. Ah, can someone ask you? This man was being given the whole Israel. He became the first king of Israel. And listen to me, this man is being given this. But God is not refusing. I'm sorry, he's not ignoring this man to be turned into another man. Because our challenge is that to bado tuko vile kama kitambo. Ah, bwana Yesu asifiwe. Vile ulikuwa unafikiria ndio bado unafikiria. And you want to use it in this year. Kanisa bwana asifiwe. Ah, bwana Yesu asifiwe. This year men that will be elevated, they are men who have been turned. I say ni wale wamebadilishwa. Ah, ni wale wamama ambao wamebadilishwa. Ni wale vijana ambao wamebadilishwa. Vile walikuwa sio vile wako saa hii. Ah, yule mama ambaye amebadilishwa. Hata reasoning yake unaiangalia. Maana ke now is not the same man. Dio mana wo kofi na poingia mwana damu bibine na sama nini and the past and the old is gone now you are a new because anytime you receive Christ you are turned into a new person hey kanisa mwana sifiwe mwana yesu wa sifiwe I want you to understand why does the bible say is that wakati mtu wa meokoka that the 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 past is gone is because your past is a problem ah mwana yesu wa sifiwe because God concentrates with your future, but the enemy concentrates with your past. And therefore, for a man to go to another level, he must be turned into a new man. This man could not prophesy. This man was just a boy. But now something is happening to him. The Bible says, verse 6, Then the Spirit of the Lord will come upon you and will prophesy with them and be turned into another man 
I just want to give you one point. What happens or what will cause a man to be turned into another man? Number one, when you meet the right man in your journey. When you meet the right man in your journey, you must be turned into a new man. Some of you, your problem is the people that you met. You met men that are no focus. You met men who are not going in your direction. And the Bible says you shall meet men. And you shall meet them coming from the high place. And what will happen to you? The Spirit of the Lord will be upon you. And you shall prophesy. Hey! There are men when you meet who cannot remain the same. And I It is my prayer you meet men who are going where you are going. It's good that you meet men who are carrying what you are carrying. It's good you meet men who are going in your direction. And he said you shall meet them when you meet them. The Spirit of the Lord will be upon you. You shall prophesy. You know there are some prophets they have met they have never met prophets. Uh, that's why you cannot prophesy. You know there's something that had to happen uh, for something to be unlocked inside you. You must meet people with the same pregnancy that you have. Ah, uh, when you meet the same person, uh, that thing that is inside you can be born. Hey, that's why it happened to Elizabeth and Mary. And the Bible says uh, when Mary visited Elizabeth, uh, and there's something that happened, uh, and Elizabeth saw Mary and said, You have less than every other woman in the world. And the Bible said, The child in the womb of Elizabeth has lived. What happened there? Because she made the match. Hey, this year I pray you shall meet the people in your direction. You shall be people going on your way. In the name of Jesus. You cannot be a businessman and meeting people who don't have even business mind. Ah, I am no salah. Listen, this is my prayer for you. If you are in an intercessor, may you meet intercessors. Ah, if you are a preacher, meet preachers. Ah, if you are a giver, meet givers. Hey! If you are a man who helps men, meet men of your caliber. You shall meet them coming from the high place. And you shall be doing what they are doing. Uh, I say you shall do what they are doing. Uh, you don't need experience. As long as you can meet them, what they are doing, you shall do it. The Bible. Come on, come on, listen. The Bible does not say that this man had to be taught to be a prophet. But the Bible says that he will meet them. And when he meets them, what will happen? He shall prophesy. By meeting them. Listen to me. Siyatu kwa mba wezi webi ya saranzuri. Ni ujepata na watu nyo kona akili kama yako. You know, listen to me. From that time, Saul became a prophet. I say he became a prophet. Amen. You don't know that because you could not become a king because you could not receive uh, you could not become a king without understanding spiritual things. Uh, can you, you? you know this year I'm, I'm, I'm feeling inside my spirit that there are some men who shall meet them. Uh, I said there are people you shall meet. I said there are some people who shall meet. Hey, those people they'll be coming there. They'll be coming from their banks. They'll be coming from the bank. And when you meet them, they will give you what they are carrying. Hey, you know by it. And what they are carrying, they will give it to you. Because God is in a business of making you better than what you are. I said God is in a business of making you better than what you are. This year I refuse to be the same. Ah, uh, I refuse to be the same. I refuse to be the same. I refuse to meet mediocres. I refuse to meet the jokers. I refuse to meet the failures. I refuse. No, those kids are going to be on a beam road. Me toka na mbali. Come, me toka na mpatiye fe arudi. Na sumbora ni namutu. Ah, can you support us if you? Come on, me toka na mbali na shiro kumwacha. Pe fe. Bona iso si fe. Mali me toka arudi. Bona iso si fe. Uh, can you support us if you? So I've said point number one: there are people that you meet. You meet a man, and through that man, God will release something. He said to him, "You shall meet them, and you shall do what? 
Now, this is the best part. I love it. Now, this is what the Bible says, verse 7. Now. And let it be when these signs come to you that you do as occasion demands. Aye. As occasion demands. Where is brother now to an idea? Kupo kuliko na unaka una unanyamaz. Wa ulize walifikaji apo. As occasion demands. Na Bible says because the Lord is with you. Aye. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Now, I don't want to take you to the, the, the other things because I don't want to go ahead of myself. But I want you to understand something. There are men that God has to place ahead of you. That through that, those men, you shall tap something that will make something in you come out. Hello? I'm, I'm building strategic relationships. Yes. Yes, hallelujah. Come on, God of King, no one in Nakulenga Lenga, please. Jipanga, Bonan was a view. Candice upon Uzi Wilson was only mingled. Oh, no, she depends because I'm meeting in the Bishop Toka. But Okitoko, Okiatua, Achika, and there was a Okiatua, Achika. Can someone ask me? In Moka, Kuachana, now what we get? So I was going to Kuachana. I come out to say the end of Panana and in Stunachana. What I'm saying, there are men that you've been walking with them and nothing has changed in your life. If you're a believer and the people that you're walking with, they have made you stop praying right away. Kama unatembea na mtu umeanza kuacha kuomba unatembea na mtu gani wewe mtu anakunyonya anakumaliza tafuta mwenye anaomba tafuta yule ambaye anaelewa mambo ya Mungu because we must be turned into new people there is something that i feel in my spirit that we need to push as believers today to be turned into another man i am tired of my former self i want to become another man i want to become another man a man that can see beyond where i am to turn men into another man. Are you not tired of how you are? Are you not They have great potential in your life. That's what I'm telling you. That's point number one. For you to be turned into a new man. Nothing. 
this year I pray that you'll be turned into a new man you'll be turned into another man I say you'll be turned in the name of Jesus there's one thing I want you to pursue because this is our theme for this month as we pray for 21 days fasting and prayer this is what we'll be praying Lord turn me into another man now I've finished preaching by the way can you stand up on your feet hey this year we, we are going by time hallelujah I just want you to pray simple prayer tell God turn me into another man there's something that I desire so much there's another side of me that I've never seen but this time around I can use calibra da 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 Man must experience. 
experience you in me. Man must experience you in me. I am not a pirate. The church must experience new men, new believers. I am not a chaos. I am a pious. I am a malek. I am a pirate. I am a sanamalek. I am a Connect me with men that will uplift me spiritually. Connect me with men that will make me pray more than before. Connect me with men that will seek your face than before. Yande kabadi gasoba. Yanda kana bara 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 bara. Leka na bagada siya bara ya. Eka na brede gede bayuda. Sade de bayada osaya. Yana na 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 na. Yamane bayida osiya. Say they need to find another man. The challenge you've been facing this time round, they'll find another man. Ah, yeah. He went home as a new person. I'll talk a new man to come on to a kish. I'll talk a new man to come on to a little that I'll leave. Until he met me, carrying something higher than he thought that he had. Oh Jesus! New man, new man, new man, new man. Another man, another man. Bye. 
of God that we pray never to faint. It is in the plan of God that we keep on seeking his face. But today I want to tell you also the Bible says that he turned him into another man. Because listen to me because of something. There was a process to become that. God wants us to take this process this year. This year. This year I'm believing not to have members of the church. I want to have priesthood family in this church. Oh, my Akosa Labada. I am an Abbas. Church members are good, but I'm trusting God to have warriors. I'm trusting God that we may have army. Men will be turned into another man. Some of you, you cannot preach, but this year, something will enter you. Uh, I say something will enter you. Some of you, you cannot be in the seed, but this year, something will enter you. Uh, something that will turn you into another man. Something that will turn you. Something that will turn you. Something. This year. My others. I know some of you want to pray for things, but listen to me. Pray. God, turn me into another man. God cannot turn you into another man and you remain the same. God cannot turn you into another man and you pray the same prayer. Ah, when God was in the process of turning him to another man, because something happened. There was a process. A man was being turned into another man. If you are turned into another man, you don't go back at your house. You go to palace. Because men who have been turned, there is a place they stay. I say there is a place they stay. A man that is turned to another man. It is my prayer this year. Please, don't pray for things. Pray for this. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord. We want to become better than us. Oh, Jesus. Father, we give you glory. Father, we give you honor. I just want us to sing this song, maybe, because I love it, and uh, if they are. Uh, uh, Mwaka ilisha na mku ni imbia. Hallelujah. You are being turned to a new man. Yes. Just sing it.
after this year, from this day, you will be turned into another man. This is our prayer, to be turned into another man. You've been making decisions because you are the same person of 2022. But I say this year, the decisions you'll be making, it will be a decision of a new another man. I say another man. You are turned into another man. The direction you'll be taking will not be your direction. You'll be instructed by God. Because you are another man. Hallelujah. So I am another man. Hallelujah. Because as myself, if that is English, as me, as me as I am. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, I could make wrong decision, but now I am turned into another man. Not because of myself. There is something that has entered me. That is the Holy Spirit. Therefore, the Holy Ghost makes decision. Uh, he influences me. He has affected my reasoning. In the name of Jesus. Receive the grace of God now. In Jesus' name. Father, we give you glory. And we give you honor. In Jesus' name. Amen. Can you celebrate Jesus? I want us to honor God with our substances. Just go to your pocket. I want us to honor God with our offering. If you're online, also you can give. I hope they have somewhere to give. We have our pay bill uh, by the grace of God. Therefore, you can you can start uh, by the grace of God. Hallelujah. Oh Jesus. accept them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We can bring more offering. Those who are like me, you can go to Empress and, uh, and do something. Reverend Isaac Moya and Pastor Janice Moya welcomes you to Shiloh Cathedral of Praise, located at Kariobangi North Light Industries next to King's Bakery. Midweek service include daily morning devotion from 5.30 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. Wednesday impact service from 5.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Friday mini kesha from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Sunday services include workers service from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. Miracle service from 9.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. To meet the man of God one-on-one, -on -one, send a message or call 0722-631-785, 0722-631-785, Shiloh Cathedral of Praise.